Hello, history buffs. This is Monday, October 17th, and today I'm only going to mention one event, mainly because I was in the area when it happened and it scared me like nothing I've ever experienced, before or since. And I do not say that lightly. Today happens to be the 33rd anniversary of the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. Centered about 10 miles northeast of Santa Cruz, California, the 7.2 magnitude quake literally stopped nearly everything in the central part of the state. I was a barely 19-year-old soldier stationed at the now-defunct Fort Ord in Monterey County, California, and as far as I can recall, I'd never experienced an earthquake before that day. I mean, they're not exactly common in the Philadelphia area, which is where I grew up, although New Jersey has had two small but noticeable quakes in recent years. Some buddies and I had visited San Francisco just three days before the earthquake. We were actually on the Nimitz Freeway, the double-decker highway that collapsed, while up that way. To this day, I still get goosebumps thinking about that. 63 people died that day, most of those from the collapse of the Nimitz Freeway. Nearly 3,800 injured, and the quake caused almost $6 billion in damage, equal to just over $13 billion today. The biggest reason the death toll wasn't much higher than that was because a World Series game was just about to begin that day, and traffic was much, much lighter than normal. I had hitched a ride from the airfield back to the barracks with a friend. We were both helicopter crew chiefs and his truck started shaking while we sat at a stoplight on post. I thought he might have let up on the clutch a little bit, and that's what was causing the shaking, but uh, nope. Uh, looking up, I noticed the lights were swaying wildly. All of them. So were the trees. The other vehicles in the admittedly sparse traffic were also shaking. I'm well aware that this is just anecdotal, but I will swear until my dying day that I could visually see the ground moving in what looked like waves. They looked for all the world like the ripples you'd see after dropping a pebble in water. I also know that scientists say that that's not possible. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm convinced that's what I saw. Like I said earlier, Central California just shut down. No electricity, no phones, not a single luxury. I have no idea why, but the Army refused to let us go help with any of the recovery efforts, although we were relieved of any of our normal duties during the immediate aftermath. We were kind of in limbo for maybe a week. Ever so slowly, things got back to normal, or as close to normal as things can get after such an event. Buildings and roads were repaired or rebuilt, although some were demolished entirely, and the repairs to the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge weren't finished for almost 24 years. I do know one thing, speaking solely for myself, I have zero desire to ever live through another earthquake of that severity. It's not a fun thing, even if I did get to check another item off of the natural disasters I've survived list.